Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to go ahead and solve um, this absolute value, in e not absolute value, just this inequality. So in solving inequalities, just like solving equations, um, except we're going to have to graph our solutions. Um, well, we don't have to, but that's the way we like to represent our solutions um, you, you, in a, with a graph. Now, we have a fraction. People don't like fractions. So I'm going to show you two different ways to be able to solve this. Okay, so. The first way is just using our inverse operations. 4 plus 3 halves x is less than or equal to 13. And I'll make it very quick, I swear. So to solve this using my inverse operations, just first thing I have to do is undo addition and subtraction. So I have 3 halves x is less than or equal to 9. Now to go ahead and solve um, to this, now i got to get rid of my fraction. I can just multiply by the reciprocal. right? And to get rid of fractions, just always think multiply by the reciprocal. So when I'm any time you take a fraction multiplied by its reciprocal, it's going to go to 1. So x is now less than or equal to 9 times 2 thirds. Just multiply across. That's really 9 over 1. So 9 times 2 is 18. 18 divided by 3 is going to be 6. x is less than or equal to 6. Now, I'll be very brief with this. But a lot of times students, you know, they have trouble with fractions. Just get rid of the fractions. Multiply everything by 2. If you multiply everything by 2, you're, you're creating an equivalent inequality. So you have 8 plus, now 2's divide out. So it's 3x less than or equal to 13. From there, if you go and solve, you'll get 6, I swear. So anyways, we know x is less than or equal to 6. Let's go ahead and graph that. So have an inequality 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so now we go to 6 and we make a nice big dot. And then we need to use our test points. So we test 6. Is 6 less than or equal to 6? Yes, that is true. So since it's true, this 6 is a part of our solution, so we fill it in. Then we just pick points to the left and to the right. Is 5 less than or equal to 6? Yes, that's true. Is 7 less than or equal to 6? That is false. So we shade where it's true, or aware away from where it's false. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you um, graph a linear or not a linear inequality. Thanks.